In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to texture paint a complex 3D object. When we texture paint, we can put all kinds of colors and bump maps and metallic maps right on an object in Blender. But with a complex object, it doesn't work so well. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to the texture paint workspace by clicking texture paint in Blender up at the top. You can see that I don't have a texture on this object because it's hot pink. In order to add a texture over here on the right, where it says no textures, click the plus mark and I'll add a base color. I can change this to 2048 to have more resolution in my texture. And then click OK. Now it has a material base color. If I go ahead and grab this green color and I start painting, wait, that's not working. Hmm. If I click here, it just starts painting in random places. Why doesn't that? work. Or maybe it's the wrong color. If I grab blue, no, it's still all messed up. That's because this object is not UV unwrapped. So if I go ahead and tab into edit mode and I select all the faces, you'll notice that this has a square because it was a normal cube at the beginning so that it doesn't know where everything is when it's doing this. So if I go view and then I show the same material, so now I can see this over here, so I can see that material in object mode. And you can see that all of this is crammed right into this area. So how do we fix that? Let's go to UV editing. And now we can see this. And in the UV editing menu, I want to select everything. So if you don't have everything selected, make sure you're in edit mode. Remember, edit mode is tab on the keyboard. Then press 3 for face mode and press A to select all. I can press U and then Smart UV Project, and then make this more like 60, and then I can press OK. And here we go, now I have all my pieces separated over on this side. So now I'm ready to go ahead and paint on it. So I'm gonna go back to Texture Paint, and now when I paint on the object, as you can see, the different pieces show up where they're supposed to go. So this is great, so now I can texture paint on this object and it's all complex. And of course this works for all of your different maps. So if I have a roughness map here and then I start painting black on the roughness map and then I go ahead and slide this over and I see my material preview, you can see how that smooth part of the object is right there. Wherever I paint black now, it's gonna be nice and shiny. And then I can add metallic to that as well by clicking plus, metallic, okay. Now metallic will be the opposite. So if I flip this, click on this color, remove the hue in the saturation, I can paint metallic on there. And now where that's super smooth, the light really reflects that HDRI in the background. And while you're in material preview, you can also change up what you're seeing. So if you don't like this one, you can pick this and you'll see how that changes what you're looking at. So hopefully this helps you paint with texture paint on complex objects in Blender. Happy 3D modeling.